Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share with you guys today a full day of food, everything we eat. We are a family of seven. We homeschool. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I do share full day of food videos every single Wednesday on my channel. The kids have just mostly finished eating their breakfast. I'm gonna grab mine in a second, but I'll show you what we're having. I made a big batch of these protein balls. I will share the link to these, this recipe down below in the description box. The base is peanut butter, oats, honey, chia seeds, um, I think there's like some salt and vanilla in there. And then you can do different add-ins. So sometimes I'll do a cinnamon and raisin one. This one is probably my favorite. It's double chocolate, so it has cocoa powder and chocolate chips in there. Uh, and then the kids each had one of these yogurts. They had some bananas. This is just a really nice, quick, easy breakfast on the go. I grabbed myself one of these yogurts. It's a Greek yogurt. I was looking for the English. Where's the English? Sharif. Okay, anyway, because it's a multi-pack, it must have English on a different one. I don't know, but that's a cherry Greek yogurt. I might only have half this banana. We'll see. That looks like a monstrous banana, but that's my breakfast. Hopefully I don't have any chia seeds <laughs> stuck in my teeth. I don't think I do, but it's very likely that it happens a lot with those chia seeds. Um, I was gonna say something else before saying I have my coffee. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, it's Friday. I was just gonna say it's Friday. And so Fridays, we usually have like a fun breakfast. It's our one morning a week or one morning a school week that we go out every morning and so I just wanna have something quick and easy for breakfast. So this is one of our breakfasts that we'll have. Sometimes we'll have muffins or we'll do cereal, just something quick, easy, and maybe not as healthy, but the kids really enjoy it. Um, so breakfast is done and I just poured myself my first coffee. I put cream in my coffee and I very much look forward to that first morning coffee. We are home. Looks like I need to redo this braid of mine. But I am going to make lunch. We had no snack this morning and we were out for a nice long walk and so we are hungry. I think I'm just gonna make some grilled cheese. I have some sourdough bread I just made. Well, I have like a partial sandwich from earlier this week and then I have this full loaf of bread. I just made two more loaves yesterday. I make two loaves of sourdough bread for sure twice a week. I usually keep one out and put the other one in the freezer. So I left that bread out from yesterday and I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do with it for lunch, but I'm thinking a nice warm grilled cheese. Sounds good. Here's our lunch lineup. <laughs> Wesley, you're always in my videos snitching veggies. <laughs> Is that so yummy? He loves his veggies. Okay, so we've got carrot sticks, sugar snap peas, and cucumbers. Here's our big stack of grilled cheese. And of course, we've got ketchup for our grilled cheese and some dip because that makes more veggies get eaten. <laughs> so there's our lunch. Mid-afternoon, time for a second cup of coffee. I need some black beans for the supper. I'm gonna make a little bit later on this afternoon. And so I just put, well, I did a double recipe. So I put two cups of black beans and six cups of water in there. I put the lid on and then I just need to pressure cook for 30 minutes, no pre-soaking or anything. And they will be ready to use just like a can of beans. So 30 minutes. And that's it. 
I am about to get supper together now. We were, we weren't gonna go out this afternoon, but then something came up last minute, so we were out uh, most of this afternoon. I usually make this soup I'm gonna be making here shortly. I usually do it in the slow cooker. Well, I always do it in the Instant Pot, but I'll do it on the slow cooker setting and it will just cook for the afternoon. But it is four o'clock right now. I am just going to do it in the Instant Pot, but put it on the pressure cook setting so that it's ready in time for supper. I am making this sweet potato chicken, quinoa, black bean soup that is so flavorful, so yummy. Um, we did just get home and the kids just got some apple slices and goldfish for a snack. I, I really need to get going on supper, but I'm hungry too, so I'm not sure if I'll grab something for supper. I'll find something to snack on as I start making supper. I sliced up this apple to start to snack on, and I'm just pulling out ingredients that I need for this soup. So diced tomatoes, and then I have just some leftover rotisserie chicken. That's gonna go in the soup. I've got, of course, my black beans. I'll use half of those, but what I need to do first is take this out of there, clean out my sink, and I need to peel and chop these two sweet potatoes. Yeah, there's a little bad spot off the end of that. I just bought these sweet potatoes earlier this week and I was gonna use three sweet potatoes. That's what was left in my bag, but uh, one was completely rotten and then that one I'll have to chop off, <laughs> chop off the end of it, but that should be enough. I'm about to eat this cashew bar, this honey oat flax cashew bar. So good. And then I need taco seasoning for my recipe and I forgot that I had ran out of taco seasoning. I make our own and it's it's easy, but it's just you know a whole bunch of ingredients I have to put together. Yes, the kids love um, shaking it for me. So get that all shook up. I add taco seasoning, yep, just keep shaking. I add taco seasoning to the soup, and then I also add some cumin. So I think I'll do a teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of the taco seasoning. All of my ingredients are in here except for the quinoa. So I've got sweet potatoes, chicken broth, black beans, <laughs> what else? Diced tomatoes, my spices. So I just need to give this a good stir. What I do is I add the quinoa only about a half hour before we eat so it's not overcooked. So now that that's stirred, I will get the lid on that. I think I'm just going to set it to the soup setting. So right there, soup. Just turned off my pressure cook here. The sweet potatoes are definitely cooked through very soft and so I just have my quinoa here I'm going to scoop up a cup that wasn't quite full so let's just get a little bit more like that I'm gonna give that a quick stir put the lid on and I know that that will that quinoa will cook in no time so where did I stick the lid there it is just giving that soup a couple more minutes. I am so, so hungry. I think I'm gonna pour myself one more cup of coffee, get the table set for supper, and I'm also gonna put Parmesan cheese to the table because that pairs so well with this soup. I'm also going to set some saltine crackers to the table. Often I would make um, buns or biscuits or something, to go with this soup, but we'll just have some crackers. And here, thank you my dear, is a finished look at our soup. I thought I'd put Parmesan cheese on so you could get a good look at it, but you can actually kind of get a good look at the soup 
What are you doing? <laughs> yes, please go tell go tell everybody that it's supper time. Um, so there's our supper. Everybody wants some Parmesan cheese. Having a little evening snack tonight. We just got out these Airroot biscuits. Nice, easy, simple bedtime snack. 